Welcome back, everybody. This is uh, part two of my yeah, my backlog list. Uh, part one was my PlayStation Five game. So, part two, I decided let's we're gonna do the Switch, and then part three, I'll do my uh, my PlayStation Four games. So, to start off with on my list, we have Fire Emblem Warriors. Now, if you don't know. Uh, Fire Emblem, but you do know Dynasty Warriors. Uh, great game, great action game. Uh, can <laughs> can be very repetitive, but still all around a pretty fun game to play. Uh, so, keeping on with the Fire Emblem, I have Three Houses. Now, Three Houses is a it's a great game don't get me wrong it's a great game i've been having a lot of fun with it but it is very very heavy in dialogue um and you have to pick one of three houses and you have to build bonds with that now you can also recruit from the other houses but it takes a lot of work and but very very heavy in dialogue but still a great and fun strategy jrpg now if you watched my PlayStation uh, backlog video, I talk about it on that too. I buy a lot of Square Enix titles, and here I have Octopath Traveler. It is very heavy in dialogue and story, but the story is very compelling and it's very good. But it's uh, the story of eight different characters. Uh, Turn-based combat, uh, there's some twist that they added in to uh make it a little more fun for the turn-based aspect but still very long S highly recommend this game it was a lot of fun now this game is a uh it's a remaster or a port from the nintendo wii it is xenoblade chronicles definitive edition the combat system is a little odd but i I just took that as you know they ported this over from the Wii so and the Wii was very uh, very different it was very movement and stuff but uh, I'm I'm not that far into this game but it is pretty interesting and it's from the Xeno series and Xeno Gears for the PlayStation 1 is one of my favorite all time favorite PlayStation 1 games so I definitely, I want to get through this one and then try two and three, which I hear are very good and very sought after. So they can get a little pricey going after the other ones. Now, this one, <laughs> this is another um, Warriors game, but it is Zelda. It is Hyrule Warriors, Age of Calamity. Um, Breath of the Wild was one of my favorite games so this game actually takes place during that uh that whole big war thing that they talk about in the story for uh breath of the wild just like uh fire emblem warriors <laughs> it is a dynasty warriors type game so it is very repetitive but i i like it i, I was having fun with it but <laughs> as you can see from my backlog videos i tend to uh get started on one and then jump and then i just i'm a gamer what can i say i just keep hopping around and trying different games and then wonder why i uh i have a whole stack of games that i i don't know the endings for so <laughs> um keeping on with the zelda i bought uh zelda skyward sword another game that was ported over from the nintendo wii um now this if you don't if you don't really know the whole timeline this game is supposed to be the very beginning of the zelda timeline and i've watched a bunch of videos on the zelda timeline it's pretty interesting to me but i had i wanted to experience it for myself and when they announced the hd i uh made sure i got it but <laughs> par for the course i got a couple hours into it and i was like oh you know i'll uh I'll try something else. So, I uh, can't wait to go back and finish it though. I, I've had a lot of 
I get a lot of enjoyment out of the Zelda timeline and watching all that stuff. Now, <laughs> these couple games, I, I haven't started yet, but I, once I get through some of these, I'm going to uh, definitely. But of course, another Square Enix title. We have Bravely Default 2. This game was uh, highly regarded in a couple of the JRPG groups that I'm in on social media. So this was, of course, another one of my GameStop pickups for the sticker of, I think it was like 15, or I'm sorry, 25, 50, and 75% off. And this one happened to be half off. So, but anybody who buys physical games knows <clears throat> Nintendo games, when they don't really drop in price a whole lot. So if you can pick up a good game for half price, you definitely jump on it. So I can't wait to try it out. Uh, a lot of people seem to have loved it. So, and my next one here is a, it's another, <laughs> It's another Fire Emblem game, but I haven't started it yet. Uh, Fire Emblem Engage. I know uh, a lot of people said they were kind of disappointed or let down by this title, um, but I got to try it for myself. Um, and then I played the Fire Emblem mobile game for a little, the mobile uh, gotcha game for a little bit. And they that was when they introduced these characters. So figured I'll give it a shot but of course I haven't started it yet um, the next of the Fire Emblem Warriors games was Three Hopes I figured <laughs> I had a lot of fun playing Three Houses I've had a lot of fun playing Fire Emblem Warriors so why not just grab this and uh, it's a Warriors game it's very you don't have to put a whole lot of thought into it. You just run out, hit a bunch of stuff, and uh, enjoy it. So, And lastly, for my Switch backlog catalog, well, I'm sorry, actually, I have one more, but it's a digital game. I don't have the physical for it, but another Square Enix title, Octopath Traveler 2. I had so much fun with the first one, and a lot of people were bragging about it. So, yep, <laughs> I picked it up. Um, I can't I'm hoping that they kept every aspect of the combat system the way they spiced up the turn-based combat was pretty fun um, and I can't wait to dive into it and then the last one is I don't have the physical I just got the digital for it it is uh, Monster Hunter Rise Rise is it's different than Monster Hunter World the you could tell that because it's it was made for the it was made for the switch that uh the world isn't as flushed out as monster hunter world so but i've had a fun with it it's nice to just like get in combat a monster or two and then go back to your your hub city and then go from there so but that is a little bit shorter a little bit shorter than my playstation 5 one but all in all it is uh a stack that i've been staring at that i <laughs> i know i need to get into uh let me know what you guys think down below in the comments please uh what, what do you guys think of some of the games that are uh on that list are there do you think there are some other games that i should try as well uh please like i said comment down below and also please like subscribe share and i'll catch you guys on the next one